and loan practices will soon change for payday lenders in Bryan. The Bryan City Council voted last night to regulate payday lending businesses. KAG's HD News reporter Monica Castro shows what this means for people seeking short-term loans. When finances become hard, sometimes people turn to a payday lender. For Sue Zivney, her son was in need of fast cash. He took it and then every two weeks it got renewed. Um, I think his loan was about $500 and I think he accrued about $800 worth of fees. In a vote last night, Bryan City Council hopes to regulate payday and auto title loans. The average payday lending loan is about $450 with the average fees being about 427. The city of Bryan hopes that with the implementation of this ordinance, it will prevent consumer debt. To provide some type of parameters or boundaries on how many times the loan can be extended. For payday loans, that's four times. Each time that it's um, extended, 25% of the principal payment needs to be paid down. The loan cannot be more than 20% of one's household income, and banks won't be affected because they are already highly regulated. In this way, they'll have to be responsible and actually uh, at some point in th time get it paid back and get their finances in order. Zivney, who also works with the Financial Fitness Center, hopes this will help curb debt and it will help them pay it back when it's less. It doesn't seem so overwhelming. And in the end, help others become more fiscally responsible. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News. This ordinance will go into effect August 1st. The Consumer Service Alliance of Texas released this statement over the ordinance. Quote, members of the Consumer Service Alliance of Texas are disappointed that the Bryan City Council passed a one-size-fits-all ordinance that conflicts with current Texas law, restricts consumer access to short-term credit, and will likely force some borrowers into higher-cost alternatives.